relates to the tax surface memo from the attorney dated February 2014. We just pulled this back out and it states to you the steps necessary if you were to consider. point of this is, as you know, Lambs County is only one of the 159 counties in which the assessors are elected. Uh, all other counties are uh, assessed, holds the assessors are appointed. Um, so this has been, I won't say on every uh, every uh, annual meeting, but it certainly has been on the number. So, uh, going back to you because it was listed as one of the items. Uh, I think if I might kind of start it off and this area you may want to put some additional information with it. Number one, this, this is a concern uh, that's been out there and it's been discussed on several retreats. I know the last two retreats I've been involved in, it's, it's there. Uh, it has been part of discussion for quite a while. Uh, Lambs County is the only county left in Lambs County that has or, uh, elected, probably in Georgia, that has elected uh, uh, assessors. Uh, you ask them, they would say, well, that's pretty simple to understand. Lambs County is the only one doing it right. You know, that's, you know, that doesn't get to where at me. But reality is, is that the only way and the only the only thing that we as a commission can do on this issue uh, is that if we if we feel like that it needs to be done, then we would have to request that uh, if I got this right, that there be a referendum. Uh, on you would have, yes, you would, the general members of the general assembly, of course, mm -hmm. that make up this change. But previously, the members of the general assembly have stated to the commission that they would not be willing to introduce legislation changing the method of selection without a referendum. Correct. So, yes. Yeah. So, is so, that so, so necessary? I mean, the, that picture's changed. Yeah, the new members uh, might tell you different uh, now. Um, I doubt. They might. You can ask. Right. You're going to leave that way. <coughs> now, this is all really about 
trailers. I mean, that's what it boils down to, is that uh, are the properties in Lowndes County, from an assessment standpoint, are they being properly assessed? Now, I don't know the answer to that because I'm not an assessor. But I think the concern is, is that with them being an elected, not saying that this group of assessors are bad way, that may be spot on, but you run the potential of getting into a situation that some assessors could turn it really into a more favorable political position and their assessments could not match actually what it truly is is because they're running the office. If I can explain this, I mean, that's, really that's the potential. That's the potential problem. That's the potential problem. Now, if you feel like, as a commission, that, that it's best left like it is, and that Lowndes County is the only county in the state that's doing it right, then if that's the way you think about it, then we move on. This, become, this at that point in time, comes off the list of consideration in all areas because it, you know, we have, and, and it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's been a flag that's been waved, and I do believe that to, to a certain point, with justification. That, it, that flag, is, you know, that those concerns have been, uh, been raised, but at the same time, you know, you come to a point is that if you can't make it happen, then we'll just have to back away from it and we'll no longer become an issue. So, that's kind of what we're at. And I, I, and I see uh, what the Commissioner is saying, what you're saying, um, but my, my thoughts on this is if we were to put it on the ballot again, you know, to get shot down, as a dead dog, you know, I mean, as a, as a dead dog, you know, the best, you know, because ultimately, the people voting on it is a democratic process. Mm -hmm. you know, um, that, that, that's my thoughts. Uh, I don't know how it, if it's a good or bad job, I, I do know uh, that if, if some revenues went out bringing in because of uh, political intimidation or whatever, you know, the office, let me make it real clear now. I'm not saying that there is. I'm saying the potential is there for that to happen. And that could be the argument on one side. Uh, I don't mind saying this in my personal thoughts about it. Is uh, do I have a problem with it changing? No. Do I believe that it can be changed on a referendum? It don't have a chance. Yeah. Because, because the people are going to say, I mean, I mean that's time for everything. Even put it on the referendum this year, next year, presidential year, maybe. I just don't think it. I don't think it would have a chance passing. I mean, I could really, really be wrong on the call, but I just don't think it would. That's the only question is, you know, do we put it back on? The yeah, I think that ultimately that's what we've come to. I think by saying let's put it on the ballot that we automatically are going to assume that it's going to pass. I mean, it's, it's been 20 years since the last time we voted on it. I'd be in favor of putting on putting on the ballot. If it gets voted down, then we'll know where we're placed in. This was 2004 or 2005. It would have been a different situation. I, I, and I, I promise you, I have no problem, no heartburn one way or the other on this. Um, but it would, I would like for it to be a consensus from the board that yes, that's what we continue to do, or move in that direction. But that's what we're going to do. Or as I said, if we're not, if we don't have the support to put it on a referendum, then we're back. There's no form again. I'll have the support from all of my colleagues. I can't talk to them about being interested in what we're doing. So, you know, if it's on a referendum, and say I'm having my first piece of trying. But yeah. to sit and say that I'm afraid it's not going to pass, I mean, I just don't think that it's worth putting on a referendum to see. Because looking back here, when we just going through how much. Uh, we do have staff there. That, uh, those items are looked at by uh, consultants. There's a staff of probably 10, 12, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 